Lena Dunham went to a baseball game and she was like, she, you know, she tweeted out very innocently, oh my God, I really dig baseball players or something like that. Again, I'm probably misquoting all over the place. And uh, so someone sent it to Lenny and Lenny got all charged up. He goes, hey, Lena, I'm a baseball player. And she was like so tickled that a baseball player actually, and they were having like, like flirtation over Twitter. And then someone who's a friend of Lena Dunham said, you better go um, Google Lenny Dykstra before you get enamored yeah because <clears throat> she was like having this fun flirtation over Twitter that everyone was reading <clears throat> so then she she read whatever his whatever she read <clears throat> oh, what are you doing I don't know and uh, then Lena of course realized yeah, that, ah! thank you then Lena realized that Lenny Dykstra was disgusting <laughs> and then like so she tweeted oh you're disgusting or something like that and th and of course Lenny didn't care he was like that oh honey that doesn't stop him that doesn't no. slow him down no like Robin has said like she's repulsed and it doesn't matter he's gonna, he's gonna wear her down so then over Twitter they had this whole exchange so then we had a good idea we called Lenny honest to God this is so great we called Lenny pretending to be Lena Dunham to see if we could gross him out. <laughs> and so, and Lenny, you know, like we, we call his house and he's just like, oh, hey, Lena, what's happening? And she starts coming on to him and it was just a lot of fun. But we, here, here it is. You'll love this. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh. Hey, Lenny, it's Lena Dunham. Really? How are you? Um, good. I thought this would be like a good idea to bury the hatchet between us. Yeah, there's no hatchet. It was all positive anyway. Oh, totally. I looked you up online and I was really impressed. Yeah? Yeah, totally. I hear you have quite a stable of women. So is there room uh -huh. for one more, maybe? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm ready to do that slot thing with you if you were down. You are. But, but any older, anything like that... I, that's it. I just say, I say, get the fuck out. But I already know you're, you're, you're probably like candy, huh? Sounds really good. Maybe we should meet up. We should. I'll bring my slot. Okay. Are you starting to get damp? Are you getting damp for a little bit? No, we're not wet, but damp. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. I actually got like a semi right now. Awesome. But, but the thing is, it's hard for me to come. So, but if you can make me come, it's like dessert wine. Well, we'll see what we can do. But I just want to let you know that um, sometimes I shit with the door open. Is that okay with oh, you? Oh, that's a problem. I don't make any sounds. I'm really quiet well, I, and clean. I don't want to know about the bathroom. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. In fact, no one's allowed to take a shit in my house. I do I have would. IBS. What's that thing? I go like 10 times a day and I have a lot of stomach issues. It's a, a real problem. I do wipe can't. really hard. Sometimes it gets uh, no, stuck. No, I can't. I can't. I can't talk about it the way. <laughs> okay, well, I'll I'll wipe my ass before you go down on me. You don't have to worry about that. She hung up. We grossed out <laughs> the king of the gross out. Is that all you have to do to make him go away? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I've we've been trying everything. We found Lenny's kryptonite. It's poo. <laughs> he hung up on Lena Dunham. Yeah, he he got a, He had to bail out of that conversation. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know he had an Achilles heel. Yeah, he does. Not that awesome. Wonderful. I'm so glad she discovered that because now women can just do that to Lenny, and he'll have to leave them alone. Right.